Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to some more Mud and Minecraft here on Regrowth. Hey yo, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. Mrs. Yeti's doing good. She just made a little hoo in the background. Don't know if you heard that. I am doing fantastic as well today. I got the whole week off work. So, woohoo! Pretty exciting. <laughs> Anyway, let's dive into some stuff. Check out this barn, guys. I love having the barn here. And actually, let's talk a little bit about some Yeti derpage. So, I was... Ah, let's go over there. I'll show you what was going on. I had my fancy Terra Truncator out, and I just needed to cut down one little thing. So, I had this... If you guys remember, I had this storage drawer sitting over here with a hopper connected to it with some chickens. So it was like right here where those torches are. And so I moved it in here closer to where the actual chickens are inside our barn now. Well, I put it on this block right here and I decided, well, the chickens can escape if I do that. They can jump on top and jump out. So we need to move it back further. So I took out my fancy Terra Truncator, chopped this down, and every single spruce log in the entire barn disappeared. So I had to redo all of that. Oh, what a pain it was. Also, I lost a ton of mana and I had to go refill it. So anyway, sunsets. Let's um, let's go over here. There's a bed over here real quick. So yeah, that was a fun adventure. I had to rebuild the barn twice. Uh, rebuild the barn once. Build it twice. Whew, what an adventure that was. So let's see. It's almost time to sleep. Go. Yeah, so that was fun. Anyway, we also had some pigs escape. And we lost our ocelot and our wolves. 99 blocks told us you should go tame them. And I put it off. And now we have no ocelots or wolves. They despawned. So we'll have to go figure that out as well. We may just fill it up with more farm animals. Anyway, so let's go to our quests today. Let's get started. Life of the world. Open this guy up. Today we are going to be getting Wolfsbane. Long associated with lycanthropy. Wolfsbane can be mutated from Snowbell and Mandrake. So we grab the Snowbell in the intro, or right before anyway. Now let's go grab Mandrake. Right over here, we just need four of these guys. As always, you guys know the drill by now. You guys are probably pros at this. You know, we could have just done this all probably in one go with the um, bone meal, but this is more fun, right? Drag it out as long as possible. A blast okay let's see should have this all set up let's go these guys here mandrakes boop and some snowbells doot 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 and i have bone meal here there we go get these guys going oh we already got some cross mutation going that didn't take very long at all there's snowbell seeds so we'll fix that in a sec you know i don't know if we're even gonna worry about it eh we'll not worry about it we'll take our chances with the other ones so, um, we also, what I want to do is, besides our big main mission today, oh, I forgot fences, figures I forgot something, um, let's go grab a couple of those, we're going to put up some signs for our shops today, and the reason for that is we're going to be adding another one, woohoo, adding a lumber mill area, and it's really not going to be super like actual lumber mill, I don't think it'll just be a place where we store our wood, so, not to get anybody's hopes up too high. But that's the plan for today. And we're going to do that, of course, in Yeti speed. Hopefully that's okay with everybody. My last snow cone video, I actually didn't use Yeti speed for a portion of it. And Mrs. Yeti said she liked that. But uh, today, we're doing Yeti speed. So let's see. One, two, three, four. And then we need this guy here. Cap it off. Boop. And the way over here. And then we can drop down. Boom. And like so, like so, like so. Oh, I hope I can reach over here. We may have to get creative. Oh, yeah, we can reach. We're good. Boop. Rip anvil. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, it's because I'm holding shift. Um, let's go get it together. Why not? Well, because it's super dark and you care, but probably can't see it all on YouTube. So. Enjoy. I'm, just know that I'm going down and our anvil smashed something while it was down here. Oh my goodness, so long. Okay, here we go. Go back up. Hopefully we don't drown. It's a long way down here, which is why none of the posts 
before our platforms go all the way down. Anyway, okay, so now, boop, ah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this without hitting shift. So let's go this way, maybe? Maybe we'll have some luck from over here. There we go. Smart. Ah, there we go. What do you guys think? I think they're all right. They're not super, super fancy, but it gives us, you know, lets us know, hey, this is the blacksmith. And then over here, this is where we will be building our lumber mill. So I've got some more resources I need to go gather. Um, some dark oak because, you know, we have dark oak f stairs for our roofs. And so I'm going to go gather a bunch of that real quick. We have some spruce and stuff left over from the barn. But once I've got all my resources together, we'll jump into Yeti Speed. So I will see you all on the other side of Yeti Speed. Yeti Speed. And welcome back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse there. Some Yeti speed. Awesome. Okay, so we've got the lumber area, lumber yard. It's not quite a mill, I guess. But we've got that all set up. Next, what we need to do is to get our storage all situated over there. So what we've done is I've gone ahead and made 16 of the spruce and 16 of the dark or oak 2x2 two two drawers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a a drawer controller so first we need to get a little piece of diamond for that so I just grabbed some diamond essence from our farm and then I've made up all the things for this already boop we don't want this one we want this guy so we've got a controller you guys remember we did that on I don't remember how long ago but we've got one going for one of our I've got that going for our metals over in the blacksmith area we're also going to use this controller slave and I'll show you what this does we need two of them so I'll show you what this guy does in just a second, but it goes right along with the storage controller. And then let's see, I'm pretty sure I have an extra chest. If not, no, okay, so let's go ahead and make one real quick. We're just gonna need a chest over there for our miscellaneous stuff. And hopefully we only need a single chest, but we may end up with needing a double or even more storage. But I wanna show you guys what I've done a little bit off of camera. So I added the this is our lumber mm, yard area, a little signs. And I kind of like this entrance. It's something different, but still works. And then I've added some wood here. I was going to add some rails to kind of like bind it down, but we're not far enough into railcraft or anything yet. So I don't have all the materials I need to make train tracks. Who knew? Minecart tracks, whatever. Anyway, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put right in the middle here, we'll put our drawer controller and on top, we'll put our chest. So then in the corner, we're gonna put our little slaves. So what this does is it'll line up, normally just the controller will go in this line, I don't know how many blocks this way, but with the slave, it adds the drawers this way to our drawer controller. So we're gonna add those guys there, and then we're just gonna do a little pattern every other block. We're gonna 
Oh, a little bit of lag there, no big deal. We're just gonna add in one of our storage drawers. So it's gonna be a nice little fancy pattern, something regular than, or something different than just same old, same old drawers. Mix it up just a smidge and I think it'll look pretty good. And then I'll show you how this will work once we get these guys all up and running. And then you can see we've added some glowstone here, not super well lit. We're probably gonna end up dying, but, uh, all right, so there's that, how that works. Now let's go ahead and we'll put some spruce. We've got dark oak, and I'll show you how I want these kind of to be lined out. So up here in the top left, we'll put our logs, and then we'll put planks, then we've got slabs, and we'll have a spot for our saplings for each of the various types of wood. So now you can see I've got 64 of, well, we've only got spruce planks. Oh, we've got slabs actually right here too, so. Let's put these guys in here. So you can see I've got spruce slabs five. If I come over here and I double right click on our controller, it should sort this out over here. And now I have got, oops, planks, I've got 120. <laughs> the slabs, I still have five. So anyway, we've added some to, this, to the uh, blanks. We should have it situated enough that we should have most of the varieties of trees, especially the ones that we have so far. And as we get further and further into some of the different mods and get more vari variations, variations of trees, we can add layers up. And I think this will be a pretty good spot for us to add anything that's wood. And then anything that doesn't fit into those categories, I want to throw into this chest here. So we may have to upgrade that into a better chest at some point. Uh, so that we can kind of keep the flow of this. But anyway, that is all of that. Let's go to sleep real quick, and then we'll go check on our seeds that we planted earlier. Let's run over here real quick. Take this off so I don't shoot when I go to sleep. I don't know why, but every time I go to sleep in the bed, if I have the uh, Terra Shatterer, it'll shoot some mana stuff. So, all right, let's go check on our seeds real quick. See all these guys burning up over here. I still can't believe I did that with the <laughs> Terra Truncator. Knocked out all those woods. Oh, that was a pain. Okay, so it looks like we do have ourselves some Wolfsbane seeds. hey -oh! Shocking, right? Okay, here we go. Let's claim our reward, our only one of the day. Down here. We're getting real close to finishing this off. Go ahead and claim our reward. Fancy, fancy. We've got a tomato seeds, and then we're going to get into some mystical seeds. And then over here, we've just got some spawn eggs. So we're getting pretty close, at least in that chapter. Anyway, that's all that I have planned for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. And you're looking forward to some more. I got some good news, guys. Full Craft is just around the corner. Hopefully you guys are as excited for that as I am. Uh, my brother-in-law, Brian, has been working on some Yeti art, and I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, anyway, we will. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next episode let's fight this guy off you guys have to make sure i get him haha <laughs> all right anyway we'll see you next time guys